Hello, this is a tutorial sheet on perfect trinomial squares. Now, what is trinomial? Trinomial has got three terms. And when we say perfect squares, like kind of, we get something like a plus b whole square, right? That's a kind of perfect square. So let me elaborate on this. Let's take the term a plus b whole square. Now, this term can be written as a plus b times a plus b. And now, if we expand it, by now you are an expert of this, right? Then we get a times a is a square plus a times b as ab plus b times a, ba, which we can write as ab, commutative law, b times b is b square. And now, we can write this as equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Correct? So, this one is a trinomial and this trinomial can be written as a perfect square. What I am trying to say is can be written as a plus b whole square. That's where we start. So, now here we are trying to do the reverse process because we are doing factoring. In factoring, what do we do? We write the sum form into a product form, right? This is a product of a plus b times a plus b. So, if you get a trinomial which has unique properties, like first term is a square, perfect square, last term is also a perfect square, and the center term is product of these two times two. In that case, very special case, you can factor this term as a plus b whole square okay let's try another one in case it is not a plus b if it is a minus b or you can re replace b with minus b and get a term here let's do long way a minus b times a minus b what is it a square a minus times minus b is minus ab and this will give us again minus ba which can be written as minus ab plus minus times minus is plus and b square. So we get a square minus 2ab plus b square. Correct? And what is this? This is a minus b whole square, a kind of perfect square which yields a trinomial, perfect trinomial squares. That's the heading. Okay, now, this is also a very special case. First term is a perfect square, last term is a perfect square, and the middle term is twice first and last. This sign tells us whether we have minus here or plus. Do you agree with me? So this sign is the relation. Do you see that? This sign, otherwise, the other two terms are same. Correct? We'll use this property to factor. So first part is to identify whether the trinomial given is a perfect square or not. And then we'll straight away write down the answer. So let's see. X square. Okay, let me see. Okay. Now first term, x square, well, already is kind of a square. So it's a square, perfect, right? And this term 16 can be written as 4 square. The only thing is, is the center number twice these two, x and 4, okay? So is it equal to 2 times 4 times x? 2 times 4 is 8? Yes, it is. When it is, then we can always write this as a plus b whole square. What is a for us? a is x. And what is b? B is 4. So I can write this as x plus 4 whole square. You know? Now, I'm not going to expand and show you that this really is factor of this trinomial. Right? That is an exercise for you. You can always do it. Let's move on to the second one. Now, do you see a perfect square here? I will suggest that you can stop the video at this moment, do the problems yourself and check your answer. That would be great. And then, let me continue now. Here it is. Is 9x square a perfect square? I think so. 
I can write this as 3x whole square. Does it make sense to you? 3x whole square gives me 9x square. How about this term 4? 4 is a square of 2, right? 2 square. Now the idea is, is the center term twice these two? So we do 2 times 2 from here times 3x. What do you get? 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 3, 12 x yes it is 12 x correct so i can write this as a square a minus b whole square minus because this is minus here this time correct so i'll write this as 3x minus 2 whole square as an exercise expand it as i shown earlier check whether this trinomial can be factored as a perfect square 3x minus 2 or not Next term, let's try and see, is this a perfect square? Okay, x square, yes it is, x square is fine. This term, oh, minus, note, in our, all the cases so far, this should be positive, not minus. Well, this will not work, so this cannot be written as a perfect square because this is negative, correct? That's the problem. Well, if this would have been positive, then this I could have written as 7 square and the center term would have been minus of 2 times 7 is 14x. We could have done it, but this is negative. So it cannot be factored, right, as a perfect square, correct? That's the whole idea. Now, next set of questions, we will do the exercise of making a perfect square. Correct. The first part which we did was to test whether the given trinomial is a perfect square or not. Here, we'll make it a perfect square. Correct. Now, I think the center part is easier. Let's start with this. You know, 4x squared can be written as 2 times x whole square. And 9 can be written as plus 3 squared. So what do you expect the center term to be? Twice this and this. It should be 2 times 3 times 2x. Which will give us what? 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 2 12x. So if I have 12x here, then this becomes a perfect square. Do you get it? Yes. Now, let's take our knowledge from here and try to solve this one. This term is a perfect square we get x square plus this term should be twice this term and this term so it should be two times we already have x here times some number i don't know what uh, times x is that okay and that some number is this number so but what we have is eight so eight should be two times some number that some number should be four right Therefore, we can write 4 here. Does it make sense? Check it out. 4 is 2 square, right? 4 is 2 square, correct? Yes, if I put 2 here, oh, it should be 4, four square, correct? Yeah, because we need 4 here. So, 4 square is the number or the number is 16, correct? Yes. 4 square which means 16 to us. So we should have this factor as, let me rewrite this number, okay? x square plus 8x plus 16, okay? So that's the trinomial which you can factor as a perfect square. Got it? Yeah. Let's go to this. Now, we are given the center term and the last term, not this, first term. So let's start. Here, the last term is 2y whole square plus, and the center term is 220. So, how do we get 20? We don't know what this is. Let me write a question mark here. So, this is 2 times 2y times some number, and 2 times 2 is 4. We already have x here, of course. And uh, how can I get 20? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Therefore, this number should be 
5 square. So I should write this number as 5x whole square. Does it make sense? 5 squares, 25. So my answer is 25x square minus 20xy plus 4y square. Got it? You can factor and see if it makes sense to you. Okay? Now, here are some questions for you to work out. It's a tutorial sheet, right? As you remember, we have many questions in the tutorial sheet which you should work on. Once you work on those questions, you gain confidence. Correct? So, copy the questions. Question number one. It is identify and factor perfect trinomial squares and justify your selection. So, when you try to identify straight away, if this is minus, it doesn't work out. So, this cannot be written as a perfect square. But this guy is tricky. Think about this one. Here, you could actually factor out minus, then it becomes plus. Both becomes plus. Correct? So, that one is very tricky. For the rest, I think, with the knowledge just earned, you should be in a position to do it. Correct? Now, copy question number 2 and question number 3. Question number 2. What terms will make each expression a perfect trinomial square? Remember, this square plus this square and the center term is twice those two. Correct? Use that and get your terms. Last and not the least, evaluate 41 square utilizing the knowledge of perfect square. So, does it make any sense to you? 41 square could be written as 40 plus 1 whole square. So, it becomes kind of a perfect square and you can expand it as a square plus 2ab plus b square. a is what for you? 40 and b is 1. Easy, right? 40 square is 1600 and 1 square is 1 and twice 40 and 1 is how much? 2 times 40 and 1 is 80. Add the three terms. Right? You get a trinomial. Add the three terms and get your answer. Okay? Try these problems and let me know if you have any difficulty. Submit your assignment at the earliest. Thank you.